Hi, Julia Watts here. Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel. So I thought I'd do a video today combining uh, one of the new 2D Designs dies and some stamps from Fairy Hugs because 2D Designs and Fairy Hugs play really nicely together. Um, so uh, this is the Dragon Moon. So I have a plan. So I'll tell you what, show you what my plan is and then we'll actually do it and see if it works. So we've got the Dragon Moon here which is one of the March 22 2T um, dies. And this is the Fairy Hugs rooftops. And I think that, that will go hit down here. This is a Distress Oxide background. And I do have a short video on my YouTube channel showing you how to make that. This has got various blues in it, probably tumble glass, probably a bit of broken china. Not sure what else. There's normally three, but any blues will do. And then we've got the slanted tree. So the slanted tree is going to go in here somewhere. And then we've got the there's magic in the air sentiment. So that's going to fit in there. And we're going to do a little bit of stenciling with the galaxy stencil from Fairy Hugs. So it's quite a simple card, um, but I think it will turn out OK. And the finished size is of my white mat is six and a half by six. Right, so let's get, because I know where things are gonna go, let's get a few stars going on in the background. So let's get rid of all my layers. And this is a Sentimentally Yours um, um, Super Smooth Watercolor card, which is brilliant for stamping on. So we're going to take some um, prize ribbon, Distress Ink, and just a blending brush. And we're just going to add some stars just in like a circular motion and see how that looks. We'll have a little bit darker than that. Let's come in a little bit, Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I like that. That works. Lid. What did I do with the lid? Put the lid down somewhere. <sighs> there it is. <laughs> never change, do I? Never change. Can never find anything. Oh, I need that bit. Don't want to lose that. Okay. So now we go into our stamping platform. And we go into the press to impress. Oops, sorry about that. Why hit it once when you can hit it twice? Oh, and you need to go off the page a little bit first of all. So let's put that like so. And we're going to go with our slanted tree first. I'm just going to do all the stamping in Nocturne Versifying Claire, which is the lovely black. And I want to have it so that this is reasonably high up, but I obviously don't want to ink on that bit there. So I think we're going to go there like so. And pick it up. And let's get a, a bit of post-it note wherever I put them. <laughs> Had them a second ago. Not to worry, not to worry. We'll improvise. So it's ink up and stamp. I mean, we are going black on black, so it won't matter too much if I get something where I don't want it. Tap, 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 tap. You need a nice juicy ink pad. And all the stamps I've got, uh, I'm using, are available on my juliewattscrafts.co.uk website for shipping to UK addresses. Otherwise, they're on fairyhugs.com. Let's see. Let's just put that over there like so. Hope it holds. Normally, it's a post-it note. Um... And I do have the Moon Dragon currently in stock. It might not be in stock for very long. Um, 
uh, I probably won't have any more. Um, so if you can't find them, um, tutydesigns.com is your place to go. How are you doing with that? Yeah, that works. That's good. So it's, it's part of the Halloween collection, the slanted tree, but you can, and obviously it's meant to be used on its on its side. So it's meant to be used that way because obviously there's the trunk, but obviously, but you can use it however you want. That's the beauty of stamps. You can do with them whatever you wish. Now we're going to have our rooftops along the bottom. And this is a great one for Christmas cards because you could have Santa and his sleigh above it. There is actually a two to design um, rooftops uh, die as well, which we have had uh, on uh, the craft store um, last year for Christmas. Let's see, I want it, I don't want it to be above the edge of the card. I want it to be along the edge of the card. So that's where we're going with it. Enough magnets to keep it still. And again, we go with our nocturne. I might have to do this twice. It doesn't look very straight, actually. Let me just stand up and have a look. Oh, it's okay. Um, I might have to do this twice because it is a silhouette. So it does require more ink than the tree did. And I do want it nice and deep and dark in colour. I need my mucky pup, mucky stamper. You probably can't see me going off the edge there. Oh, you can. Unfortunately, you can see the mess that I've made. Give that a good old press. Give the ink a chance to kind of settle in. For those of you who are competent with a, a white pen, a white pen around the roofs is a really cool thing to do. Obviously the tree is massive and the houses are tiny. <laughs> Did not think that through. It's fine. This is a, this is a, um, a fairy town and the dragon is guarding the fairy town. So little fairies live in these houses. So that's why the tree is so big and the houses are so small. <laughs> that's the thing, you can make whatever story up you want to fit your project. Let's just go again, nice and dark. I mean, it's quite nice patchy. It works, works quite patchy, but I do want it to be nice and dark. Just give the ink a chance to settle in, as I said, rather than rushing it. Give it, give it a chance to lift off. There. I'm happy with that. Sometimes when you've not used a stamp for a little while, then... Um, you'll find it, it, it doesn't necessarily dry out, but it needs more inking. Whereas if you were doing batch making, then you'd find that um, you wouldn't need to ink so much. So that's that. And then we're gonna it's bring in our dragon now. So the dragon is gonna go here. Just check I've not got dirty fingers, which I have, of course. Obviously, just make sure that the star is pointing downwards because it's so your star's not on a wonk. And what I've also done is I've cut, um, oh, I need to make sure I leave enough space for my sentiment as well. So that's going to go, let's move that over just ever so slightly. I do want to still see my stars though. So magic in the air can go up there, so that's fine. So I have actually cut my dragon out of a, a luster card. So this is Sentimentally Yours Powder Blue Luster card because I thought it might be nice to actually glue the different colour on top. And I've seen this, I think it's probably in one of Bonnie uh, Bonnie's um, samples. And um, I've decided that the tail is going behind the moon there. So, th so then we'll, we'll glue these other bits on there as well. And I've also cut another star out. If I can pick it 
up. And I thought it might be quite cool to just to pop another star underneath. I've moved that now. So you're gonna pick that up. So another star just underneath like that. I thought that might look quite good. So let's glue these pieces together and then we can pop it on our project. I don't, I don't think I'll glue it in place. Let's just move that out of the way slightly and let's do this gluing. So I need to glue my star behind. It's proving difficult to pick things up. I hope you can see okay, because it's um, quite dark today, even though it's only five o'clock. That's straight. Right now, okay, and let's get our dragon on. Now, I wasn't sure as to whether to actually make my dragon a little bit darker. I think I'm happy with him as he is. You can, um, with this luster card, you can actually take your um, watercolor blending brush pens and actually just color over the top, and it will pick up the luster from underneath. So, whatever color watercolor pen you put on top. We'll, we'll keep that luster from below, which is really quite cool. Let's get rid of some of that. Tweezers. Just going to dab off some of this glue. Just so it doesn't, we don't have seepage on the luster card. And pop him in place. I don't want a shadow. I want him to be exactly on top. You can, if you wanted to, you could actually um, cut away the pieces, the white pieces, and actually just glue it in place instead. But I'm going to pop him on top, like so. And then I think with these, I'm going to put glue on the white and add it to the top. I only got a light on, but it was glaring off my mat, so I hope you can see. And I don't want all that glue on there, so let's dab a little bit off. And let's do this one first, because otherwise I'm going to stick my fingers in the glue. So we do the tail first, with the little heart on the end. They're normally a bit of um, a fork, aren't they, the end of dragons? Well, they are when they're portrayed, I think, on the TV. But this one's got a heart because this one's a, a lovely little dragon. Oh, I moved it. Okay, so that's ready to go in here. Using sentimentally yours, PVA. Less is more. With the wet glues, um, yeah, definitely less is more because uh, if you have too much on it, it just takes longer to stick, and then your card will um, kind of um, wrinkle a little bit. But if you just put a little bit on, then that's all you need. Should be good. Tweezers. And make sure my stars are nice and straight. I stand up over the top so I can see what I'm doing. And I can want to see my stars that I've put in my background. Okay. And we'll stamp our sentiment. Which is my there's magic in the air again from fairy hooks put this over here Let's see if i can get this straight let's have 
open another magnet up there. I've not gone back into the corner. I didn't bother going back into the corner, which is a bit dangerous. But I've got so many magnets on here, it's not going anywhere. Again, this is from the Halloween collection. But you can see, even though it's from the Halloween and the, the um, slanted trees, it still works. Um, let's just have it just a fraction darker. Just as we can. There we go. All done. So, to finish off, we will just pop this onto our black mount. I'm not going to edge it. I'm just going to leave it as it is. You can edge it if you want to. Just be careful of the black ink because it's probably still a bit wet because the first one clear stays wet for quite a while. Make sure this is the right way around. It makes such a difference when you pop it on black, it all pops. Black is your friend in craft and then I think what I'll do is I'll actually put this on some one millimeter foam tape which is um a really um thin foam tape where's my scissors but it is good enough I, don't know why I can't find anything Woodwear foam tape, just one millimeter, just because it makes just a, such a difference. And so, um, I mean, I haven't used a proper card blank here, but it could easily be on a you could use a six by six, you don't have to use a six and a half by six. And then, which way around does it go? So, it just about goes on there, like so. There we have it. One little scene done using your Tutu Designs Moon Dragon, the Fairy Hugs uh, Rooftops, Slanted Tree and the Magic in the Air Sentiment plus the Galaxy um, stencil just there in the background. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, products are available at juliawattscrafts.co.uk. It'd be lovely if, if you're not a subscriber, if you would subscribe and like and comment on a video and do check out my other videos on my channel. Thank you for your time. Bye.